Sishwa Point is a small harbor on northern Lake Michigan and is located on the south shore of the Upper Peninsula. Native Americans and French fur traders traveling in canoes across the rough waters of Lake Michigan found this harbor to be the only refuge between St. Ignace and Manistique. The French gave it its name, which means only choice. I'm here with Jean Williams right now. She's part of the Historical Society out here at the Sishwa Point Lighthouse. Jean, I'm gonna, one of the first questions I gotta ask you, how many people get the name right when they get here? <laughs> first thing everyone asks us is, how do you say this? And most people say, soul choice, because that's what it looks like when it's spelled out. It's Sichua, it means only choice, and it's French. Okay, I assumed it must have been French. Only choice, why the name there? Because of the first uh, French trappers and traders that started coming this way from Mackinac Island, when you're out in Lake Michigan and you see a big storm blowing this way from the Green Bay, this is your only choice. You come into this ah. Harbor Bay area here and you know you're going to be safe. Okay, very good. Now this is one of the premier lighthouses along Lake Michigan. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, the lighthouse here was started in 1892. They ran out of funds. They had to reappropriate some money to uh, finish it. It was finished in 1895 and was the light was lit for the first time then. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, I believe, a third order Fennel lens and the Fennel lens is gone. When it was decommissioned, the Fennel lens was taken out and we don't know where it's at. Mm -hmm. uh, the Fennel lens shone 18 miles out into the lake to help keep the many, many freighters at that time off of the point and the rocks in this area and also to help them get into the safe bay here. Uh, we have an airport beacon in it now, and it still is visible 18 miles out. Mm -hmm. The freighters that come in here to Port Inland Quarry, they use our light to get into their channel to come in. We have ships coming in every day. So it's pretty interesting to be able to see a, a big freighter if you've never seen one come in. Um, the lighthouse is open every day during the summer from uh, Memorial Day weekend until the middle of October. We kind of plan that with the big lighthouse festival that's down uh, in the Alpena area. Mm -hmm. So we stay open that weekend to pick up people coming through. And we have tour guides who volunteer through the Gulliver Historical Society. And they have had the lighthouse and have been taking care of it since the late 1980s. And we finally have the lighthouse open, the tower. We also have the uh, fog signal building that you can tour through, and that was the first thing that the Gulliver Historical Society worked on. And that's a local museum that shows about the fishing industry and the timber in industry here in the Gulliver area. Our latest attraction is the boat ho boathouse, and we have that set up. We've got a lot of things that were given to us from the fishing families that had fish from along the Manistique and along this area here on Lake Michigan. So that's pretty interesting. We acquired this house here, which was built for Coast Guard in the 60s, and we, re we acquired that about 10 years ago, and we're able to move our gift shop into there. We also have a theater that we run several of our award-winning videos about the lighthouse and about the Sichua community here. The uh, area grew out here and there was more shipping. They needed to have more men to run this because you had to take the fuel up every four to five hours to keep the flame lit on the tower. And you also needed somebody to run the fog signal if it, the fog was in. So they needed more people all the time. And that way you could get some time off too and not have to work 24 hours a day. So we've got that building now. We just got that back in the fall, had it moved down here. It was over on uh, McDonald Lake. And we're starting to work on that. Very good, very good. Now, you may have mentioned this already, but people can climb the tower? Oh yes, yes. It's a $2 fee to go into the house to see the whole house and to climb the tower. There's 96 steps climbing the tower. It's a pretty easy climb and you can, on a clear day, you can see to the Beaver Islands. Wow. And you can really quite well see the ships when they come in to see the freighters. This looks like a good spot maybe to come out. I see you got a picnic table out here, but families come down and have picnics yeah, in too? It's a real family place. We encourage everybody to come and, and have picnics out here. We have picnic tables and you can wander the whole beach area. It's a great place to find uh, rocks 
we have okay. kids around. I always send the kids out to the beaches to look mm -hmm. for uh, fossils. It's a good place Very for Very good. The 96-step spiral staircase can be a challenge to climb to the top, but the view is spectacular. On a clear day, you can see all the way to the Beaver Islands, and on most days, you can see for miles down the rugged coastline as it drifts off into the distance. One thing about lighthouses is that you can't be the faint of heart if you're going to climb these things. There's quite a few steps up, and you're a little out of breath sometimes when you get to the top, but uh, once you get up here, what a view we've got. It's worth the climb. I always tell visitors it's very much worth the climb to come up here and be able to see. On a clear day, we can see south and see some of the beaches and the beaver islands. You can see freighters coming in to Port Inlet to the quarry across our bay. Wow. And closer up, you can see our lilacs are still out there. Beautiful. It's the last places to have lilacs because it stays so cold with the winds coming off here. We go along with Met and Island. When they have the lilac festival, we have lilacs. Farther in, they were gone and they've been gone for years. That beautiful grounds that you have here. We mentioned that people can come down here and have a picnic with the family, but you can actually go out and walk around a little bit. Walk around. You must have a, a fair amount of property here. Yes, I'm not sure exactly how many acres it is, uh, but you can. You can go all the way around the point, along the shore, and it's beautiful. You can see the beach and the lighthouse right here. It's just a lot of fun. We have a lot of uh, wildlife come in here. This morning, I had a lady showing me pictures that she had taken of deer and different kinds of shrubs. 